Thank you for joining us. In this demonstration, we will show you how to create a requisition, review the requisition, turn the requisition into a purchase order, and then receive against the requisition. Every user will be given a unique user ID. For this demonstration, we will log in as a requester. Now logged in, we land on a blank requisition screen. A blank requisition can be broken into two different parts, a requisition detail and item information. A requisition can be completed very quickly. Start with a description, which is a requisition title. Add a due date. You may add a memo, which shows up in the memo field in QuickBooks. Now let's add a vendor. Select the vendor lookup. These vendors come directly from your QuickBooks. Now we've completed the requisition detail, let's scroll down and add a few items. Now you may select the item lookup. These items come directly from your QuickBooks. Now we've added the items. Let's change the price on one of the items. If we need to, we can add attachments. We have now completed the requisition. Let's send a few comments to the approver. And now we can submit this requisition for an approval. As an approver, you have two different ways to approve when using TransactionLink. The first way being by email. This is the most common way. Or the second way, where you actually log into TransactionLink and approve directly from the application. Let's start off by showing you the email notification. If you will notice, the full entire requisition is here now in email format. You may scroll to the bottom and simply approve or reject directly from your email. This can be done from any device, a smartphone, a PC, or tablet. Now let's guide you through approving within transaction link. First, we need to log in as an approver. and then scroll to the top left part of your screen and select Inbox. Selecting Inbox, the most recent requisition will populate the screen. You may review the requisition and then scroll down and select Create PO. Now you've created a PO. Sending this PO to a vendor is very easy. Select the My PO tab, select which PO you would like to send to the vendor, scroll down, and select Email Vendor. Now your pre-populated email will appear. Now let's go ahead and email this. and then we will close out the screen.
Receiving the goods is very similar to opening the PO. If you'll select Create Receiving, select the requisition, select the PO, and expand the field. Now go ahead and enter the quantities received here. For the last line item, we have not received all the goods, but we will close this item out. Let's complete this by selecting Create Receiving. Now we have created a requisition, reviewed it, approved it, turned that requisition to a purchase order, and received the goods. The only thing remaining is synchronizing our QuickBooks. Coming to our QuickBooks server, you see that we have a TRXLink agent. The agent is actually the tool that connects TRXLink and QuickBooks. We have now synced the two systems and we can open QuickBooks. Now I will show you what the purchase order looks like in QuickBooks. Select purchase order and then previous and there's our purchase order. Now look towards the bottom of the screen and you'll see our memo. Now we can show you the receiving. And just as we did with the purchase order, select previous, and there's our receiving.